The story opens with the introduction of Gina, a very popular high school student. Everyone at school knows and admires her since she is very talented and is also a K-pop trainee at a big agency. Her best friends are Hana, another K-pop trainee, and Minji, who comes from a very wealthy family. Meanwhile, we see a guy named Sung Min who is watching Gina from his classroom window. Moments later, his best friend Ball arrives and warns him that if he stares too hard, he might go blind. He also says that pursuing her is pointless because she's very pretty and their lives are too different. Afterward, Gina is approached by her boyfriend Hyung, who is also a very popular and handsome guy at school. He apologizes for missing her birthday and explains that he was busy with his sports practice. He suggests that they can celebrate it now, but Gina says she's tired of his behavior and wants to break up. She even claims that she's dating someone else. When he questions who he is, she looks at the nearby board and points to Sung Min's picture. Seeing this, Hyung starts laughing and says he'll only leave her alone if she introduces him to her new boyfriend. After he departs, Gina's friends arrive and she explains the situation to them. She then hands him a picture of Sung Min and the three begin searching the school for for him. Sometime later, Ball meets with Minji and finds out that Gina is looking for his friend. He gets excited and quickly informs him about it. After a while, our hero heads to the school rooftop where Gina is waiting for him. Seeing him, she directly says that she wants him to be her boyfriend. Soong Min remembers the first time he saw her singing when he immediately fell for her. He excitedly proceeds to say yes, but before that, Gina makes it clear that they only need to pretend to date. She explains they can part ways once all her problems are cleared. Our hero gets annoyed and declines the proposal as he genuinely likes her and prefers their relationship to be real. Later, Gina meets with her friends and tells them how embarrassed she is. Her friends are also confused about how an average guy like him can reject her. Meanwhile, Ball meets with Soong Min and complains about the fact that he turned down Gina. While they're arguing, Hyung arrives and tries to intimidate our hero. He makes mean remarks, saying he could never be Gina's boyfriend. However, Sung Min doesn't retaliate. He simply absorbs the insults as if he's used to it. The next morning, Hyung approaches Gina, pesters her that it's time to meet her new boyfriend. With no other option, she approaches Sung Min in class and takes him aside. She then hands him a relationship contract and explains her reasons for doing that. Hearing this, he finally agrees to pretend to be her boyfriend. According to the contract, they need to walk home together, post pictures on social media, and go on fake dates for the next 50 days. This excites our hero, and he suggests that they wear matching outfits as well. But Gina reminds him that this isn't a real relationship. She states that they must not fall in love with each other and they're not allowed to date other people during this period. Later, Hyung once again approaches Gina and starts to pester her. He thinks she's lying about him, but suddenly, Sung Min arrives and introduces himself as her boyfriend. Although Hyung doesn't believe this, he really has no other choice but to leave her alone. After this, Sung Min talks with his father and informs him that he has a girlfriend. Dad is excited by the news, so he offers him some advice on how to treat a girl. Taking his words into consideration, our hero starts pampering Gina. He brings her food when she's hungry and always tries to help her. In the evening, he suggests they walk together, but she refuses. However, when she sees Hyung approaching, she changes her mind and decides to go for a walk. Later, they have lunch together and exchange notes about each other's hobbies and interests. Gina then heads to her dance class while he patiently waits outside. After the class is over, they decide to walk home together. Moments later, when Gina steps forward to cross the street, she doesn't notice the approaching car. But fortunately, Sung Min saves her in time, and they stare at each other for a while. Before leaving, she asks for his number, and he asks if he can text her when they get home. However, she refuses and advises him not to get his hopes up because she isn't interested in him. The following day, as Gina is hanging out with her friends, she invites Sung Min, who arrives with Ball. The group then heads to a cyber cafe to play games, and our heroine surprises everyone by playing exceptionally well. Later, she takes a picture with Sung Min and shares it on her social media, making her ex-boyfriend jealous. On the way home, Sung Min notices that Gina is cold, so he gives her his jacket. This makes her feel very special, but she doesn't say anything at the moment. The following day, she goes to school wearing the same jacket. Meanwhile, Sung Min is at the school field when Hyung and his friends approach him. They try to bully him, but just then Gina shows up and warns them to stay away from her boyfriend. She also threatens to report them to the authorities if they don't oblige. However, Hyung is still unconvinced that they're dating and thinks it's just for show. To prove him wrong, Gina pulls Sung Min closer and abruptly kisses him, leaving everyone shocked. Later, our hero innocently asks Gina if she likes him and wanted that kiss to happen. However, she explains that she only did it to shut Hyung up. Disappointed by her words, Sung Min avoids her for the rest of the day, leaving her confused. Eventually, she talks to Ball about his friend's cold behavior towards her. She wants to know why he's acting so weird as of late. Ball finally reveals that he's always been in love with her, which is why he agreed to the contract. He also tells her that it was Sung Min's first kiss, and he wanted it to be real and meaningful. 
Meanwhile, in class, our hero meets Hana, who is feeling unwell because she hasn't eaten in three days. He asks why she's doing this, and she claims her agency has asked her to lose some weight. Shocked, Sung Min immediately gives her some food, saying it's dangerous to stay hungry for a long time. As the two engage in conversation, Hana asks if it's difficult for him to pretend to be in a relationship without genuine feeling. However, their talk is interrupted by Gina, who takes him away from the conversation. Once they're alone, she asks if he really likes her and why he didn't mention it before. Sung Min responds by saying that he fell in love with her the very first time he saw her singing. He couldn't take his eyes off of her because she was just so beautiful. Hearing this, Gina apologizes for the sudden kiss, but he assures her not to worry as the next one will be real. That evening during dance class, the trainer repeatedly scolds Hana, claiming that she lacks talent and charm. However, she continues to praise Gina, and this makes Hana feel jealous. Days later, it's the 22nd day of their fake relationship, so Sung Min gives a lot of gifts to Gina. She's very happy and excitedly shows them to her friends. Meanwhile, Hyung accidentally overhears their conversation and recalls how Gina had given him an anniversary gift on their 100th day, which he had completely forgotten. Reflecting on this, he realizes that maybe she deserves someone better than him. Later, Hana asks Gina if she has feelings for Sung Min. She wants to know if their relationship has started to blossom. Our heroine hesitantly replies that she doesn't, and this is all just for show. Hearing this, Hana is relieved, as it seems she has begun to like Sung Min. Later, she approaches him and invites him to a musical event happening that evening. Our hero doesn't want to attend as he has other plans, but she keeps on insisting until he agrees. That evening, we see Hyung with Gina, and he lavishes her with gifts and apologizes for forgetting their anniversary before. However, she refuses to accept any of the gifts, saying she is not interested in dating him again. She proceeds to leave, but he grabs her hand, and at that moment, Sung Min shows up with Hana. It turns out Hana and Hyung deliberately planned all this to get them to break up. Seeing Gina with her ex-boyfriend, Sung Min gets annoyed and walks away, but she follows him and apologizes. She asks why he's with Hana, and he explains that she invited him to attend a musical event. He then asks why she's there, to which she reveals that it was also Hana's idea. However, he refuses to believe her, so she ends up leaving for home. Sometime later, Gina is approached by a classmate who has been stalking her for weeks. He starts bothering her and suggests they go out. Meanwhile, Hyung sees Soo Min and begins to worry when he finds out that Gina went home alone. He informs our hero that a stalker has been leaving her notes for several days, so she's not safe alone. Hearing this, Soo Min panics, and both men start searching for her everywhere. Meanwhile, the stalker continues to harass Gina and threatens to kill her if she refuses to be his girlfriend. She somehow escapes him and calls her ex-boyfriend to inform him of the situation. While running away, she comes across Soong Min, who hugs and comforts her. Hyung also arrives at the scene and starts fighting with the stock. Before the matter can escalate any further, the cops show up and take him away. In the aftermath, Gina thanks the men for their help. Hyung advises Soong Min that if he wants to be with her, he must always protect her. He finally accepts their relationship and promises not to bother them anymore. After he leaves, Gina asks Soong Min to stay with her tonight since her parents are away. He agrees, and that night, they spend some quality time together and eventually fall asleep by each other's side. Several days later, Minji invites the group for a vacation at her house, and they all agree to go. During the vacation, they have a great time cooking and playing games together. Later, while Sung Min is cooking, Hana approaches him and tries to seduce him. However, Gina notices this, and she interrupts their conversation. That evening, our cute couple spends some time alone, and she sings a love song for him. He's impressed by her voice, and the two lean in for a kiss, but suddenly they're interrupted by some dogs barking. Meanwhile, Hana notices this and becomes enraged with jealousy. So she approaches Hyung and informs him that Gina and Sung Min's relationship is not real. This shocks the ex-boyfriend, but he's also relieved that he still has a chance with her. The next day at the agency, the trainer announces that the company is not doing well, so they will have to pay some money. Hana tells her that that was not mentioned in their contract, but the trainer begins insulting her, saying she's a bad singer. Hearing this, Gina becomes very angry and starts arguing with the trainer. She defends her friend, saying she's just a as good as everyone else. The trainer tells her not to worry about money because she's their best. This pisses Gina off and she decides to quit the agency. Later, our heroine is upset and sitting alone when Sung Min approaches her. He informs her that it doesn't matter if she leaves the agency because there are other ways to become famous. He then suggests she upload a video of her singing on YouTube so she can gain lots of views. 
At first, Gina is embarrassed to do this, but after some persuasion from him, she finally uploads a video. Within a few days, her song goes viral and becomes an internet sensation. Days later, she meets her sister and informs her that she is in a contract relationship with a guy she likes. However, she says that once the contract is over, she plans to confess her true feelings to him. Meanwhile, at the agency, the trainer is furious with Hana and offers to refund her money if she brings Gina back. This upsets the jealous bitch, and when she watches her friend's viral video, she gets even more mad. In the next scene, Hana confesses her feelings to Sung Min, but he shows no interest. She then suggests that once his contract ends, he could at least pretend to date her as he did with Gina. However, he tells her he can't do this because he has feelings for Gina. This makes Hana furious, so as revenge, she steals his relationship contract and uploads it to the internet. As a result, everyone starts gossiping about her heroine and how she forced Sung Min to date her. Later, Gina discovers that this is Hana's doing and asks why she's trying to sabotage her life. The bitch responds that they were never friends and that she has hated her ever since the first time they met. She complains about how Gina is constantly the center of attention while she has to struggle and work hard for everything. Just then, Soo Min goes to the transmission room and announces that even though the relationship was contractual, he's always had feelings for Gina. He makes it clear that she didn't force him into the relationship and asks everyone to stop talking about her. Hearing this, Gina explains to Hana that she doesn't mind if everyone hates her because she has someone who truly cares about her. After this incident, Hana is so devastated that she stops attending school. She goes completely anonymous and cuts herself off from everyone. Worried about her well-being, Gina goes to her house one day, asking her to return to school. She requests to be friends again, but Hana sets forth a condition. Gina must end her relationship with Sung Min once their contract is over. The next day is the last day of their contract, so Gina and Sung Min try to skip school to spend some time together. At the end of their date, she tearfully says that they can no longer be together since their contract is over now. Confused, our hero tries to stop her, but she apologizes and walks away. A few days pass, and both Gina and Sung Min are miserable and distant from each other. Other. Hyung notices her sadness and advises her not to give up her happiness for the sake of others. He even consoles her and urges her to get back with Sung Min. After this, Gina meets with Han and says that she doesn't need a friend who demands that she give up her love. She explains that she's also worked very hard to get where she is and has never taken anything from Hana. Gina then goes in search of Sung Min and eventually finds him. She apologizes for hurting him and finally admits her feelings for him. Our hero becomes emotional and tells her that he loves her even more. They then hug each other, and Gina tells him that she will never leave his side. A few days later, she learns that Hana has left their school, which makes her a bit upset. She chooses to forget about her, as she has better people in her life now. In the final scene, Gina and Sung Min meet on the rooftop, where he gives her another contract. It states that they must stay with each other forever. He then kisses her, ending the show on a happy note.